All right, I got a lot of heat for my uh, rant about natural bodybuilders or classic physique guys. And one of the comments I made was, all of a sudden, there's a ton of classic physique competitors. You go to a local competition and there's four bodybuilders and 28 classic competitors. Even at, you know, the Arnold, there was seven to 12 guys and 45 classic competitors. Um, this isn't an accident. It's the easier route. Now, yeah, I'm sure there is a handful of guys that prefer that look. Now, the reason they prefer that look is because that's their genetics. That's their type of, of bodies. There's a new phenomena on Instagram right now. You're seeing every Tom, Dick, and Harry post a comparison picture of themselves side by side with Arnold Schwarzenegger or with Frank Zane. It's really bizarre to me. Like, you know, first thing you see is like, what are you, what are you doing? You, are you comparing yourself to Frank Zane or, or Arnold or what? And then they'll have this cute little. Uh, a caption underneath, you know, strive to be what you would love to be, you know. That's nonsense. You just wanted to put a picture of yourself next to Arnold. Anyway, um, getting back to the point of the question was um, I stand by my opinion that the reason there's so many classic guys is because either one, they, they, they just don't have the physique to be a bodybuilder. Or two, and when I say physique, I don't mean, I mean, there's unbelievable physiques. I, I love the classic guys. They're, they look unbelievable. But for the most part, a lot of them were bodybuilders. They came up as bodybuilders or wanted to be bodybuilders. And their genetics limited them to where they're at uh, or they didn't want to put in the time because it takes a lot longer to build that much muscle so I'm not I'm speaking the truth I'm not I'm not uh, putting down classic guys just like I was speaking the truth about uh, modern-day natural bodybuilding um, I'm a big fan of natural bodybuilding but um, you know, the truth is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Um, classic is an easier division to fit in. And you don't have to put in an extra four, five, ten years to add that extra eight to ten pounds of muscle. Um, you know, I could have fit into classic bodybuilding when I was... 28 years old was the last time when I was in or mid early 20s that's about the weight I would have to be when I was a lightweight so at my height say five four five three and a half I would have to be I don't think any more than 154 pounds and right now in my off season I'm like 237 I compete anywhere from 206 to 210 so um that's out of the question. And a lot of people are going to say, yeah, yeah, that's because you're on everything under the sun. <laughs> Come on. So are the classic guys, all right? So are the men's physique guys. So are the bikini girls. But uh, the reality is I've been training for 30 years. So it took me that long to put on that muscle. And I decided back in... 2001, this is where I want to stay. I, you know, I want to be a classic. There was no such thing as classic physique back in 2001. So that wasn't an option. Um, but the truth of the matter is, when everyone's growing up, when everyone's watching, you know, I, I made this comparison a couple of years ago in an interview. Um, when people are watching cartoons growing up, they, he wanted to look like He-Man, not Aquaman, all right? He-Man was the physique. The Incredible Hulk was, that guy was massive. Nobody was thinking like, 
oh, I'd really love to have the physique of Spider-Man, that skinny guy in the, in the spandex suit. No, you want to be the guy who's ripping through his clothes. You know, and that that is the fact of the matter. Um, it is what it is. You can hate on me all you want, or deny it, but it's the truth. And I'm sticking to it. This is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right?